Good afternoon. I am Jeff Booker and I have the pleasure of serving as superintendent of Gaston County Schools and it is a great day to be in Belmont and to celebrate the new location of Belmont Middle. This is a day that feels like to me it started five years ago when the Board of Education said we want to replace Belmont Middle School and we began the arduous process of securing a site, securing a contra contractor, architect, and now today you get to see the fruit of all of that work. I hope you took a moment as you walked in to just look around and see this incredible facility. I was speaking with Robert Brown of Beam Construction and saying this is one that he won't have to apologize for, but he will do all the warranty calls on, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> It seems like yesterday that we were here on March 25th, 2019 for groundbreaking. And as we all know, it's been quite a tumultuous time since then, but a great credit to the construction team, the architectural team, that through all of COVID, they didn't lose any days to an outbreak on this job site. That's great management, that's great planning. That day that we had the groundbreaking, clouds rolled in and we barely got it in before the real storms hit. Well, we would all welcome some rain today to help those new fields grow. But we think that this is a very great picture of what a community working with the school system can accomplish. And I know we have a couple of county commissioners with us today. Their support of our school system is what makes this possible. and the support of our parents and citizens to pass a $250 million bond issue, which has allowed us to do a number of projects throughout the community, but this is the first flagship project out of those bonds. But we'll learn a lot more about that as we go through this, but it's my pleasure to introduce Reverend Ricky Collins with Tabernacle Baptist Church for our invocation. Thank you, Superintendent Booker. Can we all bow our heads? Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful day. God, as we approach this wonderful, immaculate school, God, we can see your hand all over the place. God, we thank you so much for the opportunity to have this building here. Thank you so much for all of the leadership that made it happen. Thank you for the leadership here at this school. Principal Redmond and her staff. And Father, we invite your presence, God, to be not only here now, but when school starts. God, in the cars as parents come and drop their kids off, as, as teachers meet their students for the first time, we pray that your spirit and your presence be in this building. Father, we love you, and we always give you honor. It's your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Collins, and thank you for your support throughout the school year. He is a very active parent, as well as uh, serving in our schools to support our music program. So thank you for your commitment to Gaston County Schools. Now I'll introduce Susan Redmond, who has the pleasure of being the principal of Belmont Middle School. Good afternoon, and thank you for being here on this wonderful and amazing day. I would like to introduce the students that will be leading the pledge this afternoon. They are Henry Davis, Spencer Hollifield, Hannah Leinberger, and Brianna Armstrong. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
Thank you. It is an honor and a privilege to welcome you all to the new Belmont Middle School. Before I share a few comments with you, I would like to acknowledge my new assistant principal, Mrs. Sierra Jennings. I would like to also acknowledge my phenomenal staff. If you are here today, if you will please stand and wave. They are throughout. I'd also like to recognize my SRO, Officer Jim Reagan. I believe he's in the front, but I wanted to say thank you to him as well. The Belmont Police do a phenomenal job of supporting us and our students here at Belmont. So thank you very much. Thank you, Officer Buchanan. So it has been a time with building this building. So you could say that more than one occasion, I've definitely driven down South Point Road and watched as this amazing building has taken place. Right around Christmas in 2018, bulldozers began clear, clearing the trees, moving the dirt to prepare the land. And a few months later, we had our wonderful groundbreaking ceremony. Then we got excited when we saw the concrete being poured cement blocks, walls going up, the roof, the windows. I remember when I was asked if the building was going to be blue. <laughs> it's all in the process. And it seemed like it has taken no time at all to take into this beautiful shape. The building spans approximately 155,000 square feet with two floors of classrooms, collaboration and instructional spaces, administrative offices, teacher workrooms, conference rooms, a spacious gymnasium complex is absolutely amazing. And this wonderful cafeteria and multi-purpose space, plus additional learning areas. The school is designed for 1,000 students. We have just over 700 at this point. There's enough room here to accommodate as many as 1,200 students, which will likely happen sometime down the road looking at our community growth. I hope when you came into the front doors this afternoon, you noticed our library and media center, an absolute showstopper. I encourage you today, when you are touring the building, to look at the media center, as well as visiting our gym and our wrestling cheerleading room. Our library is the heart of the school because it takes place that that's where it complements our academics in our classrooms. It provides enrichment with resources, and it fosters an excitement with multimedia experiences. Without question, our library is a place for creativity, exploration, and discovery. The spacious classrooms you'll see this afternoon are designed to support collaboration and teacher learning. We have some open classrooms on the sixth grade hall on the first side, and we also have our encore classes open on the other side. You'll notice that the desks can be placed together so that students can interact in small groups. You'll see flat panel screens, oversized whiteboards, and instructional technology plus other features that transform our classrooms and captivate our students' attention through highly visual interactive elements. The windows themselves are breathtaking. I think all of us realize that we've outgrown the historical school on Central Avenue. It served our community well for eight decades, and we know that this school will as well. We are especially excited to have our own athletic fields, and we have plenty of parking and a drop-off and pickup line. As I told some of our sixth grade parents on Friday as we were learning the pickup line, it'll get faster. We're just not used to having a car line, so we will adjust. Our school really is a place that will serve our students today as well as our students tomorrow and in the future. Now there is so much here to share about our school, but for the sake of time, I will read the information. If you'll look at your pamphlet you have, it does have good information about our school in that pamphlet. So we all realize that today is a big moment in the history of our school and the Belmont community. And we are so very happy to have you with us as our grand opening ceremony. I truly appreciate every one of you being here. Thank you so much for your support and the support you will continue to give both our students, our teachers, and staff as we begin a wonderful school year. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. And we should all pause right now and recognize your leadership and all that brought us to this point. Susan Redman.
Now we have a number of dignitaries with us that we would like to acknowledge today. So we will have greetings from the Gaston County Board of Education, the Gaston County Board of Commissioners, and the Belmont City Council. First, I would like to welcome Mr. Ramsey, our board chair, to the podium. And then following Mr. Ramsey's remarks, Mr. Ronnie Worley from the Gaston South Point Township, part of the Gaston County Commission, will speak. And we'll have Mayor Charlie Martin of the town of Belmont. Mr. Ramsey. Good afternoon. As you can see, Miss Redmond chose and picked out my tie because every green that's in this building, and Kelly Green also. So thank you for Miss Redmond. Uh, well, good afternoon. It is a wonderful day for the city of Belmont and their community. You should be very proud of what you see around here today. It's going to be a wonderful school year coming up. So on behalf of the Board of Education, I want to thank for being with us today to celebrate the brand new Belmont Middle School. I would like to take a moment to recognize the members of the Board of Education who are with us today. And please stand while I call your name out. Our Vice Chair, Dot Cherry, Kevin Collier, River Bend Township, Justin Davis, South Point Township, Steve Hall, Dallas Township, and Robbie Lovelace, Cherryville Township. Is everyone, thank y'all. It's a bit overwhelming to be inside a wonderful new building today and see that our plan for a contemporary new middle school in Belmont has become a reality. Many people have been part of the planning designing and the construction process to make this new school happen. And we appreciate everything you have done. The new Belmont Middle School is an investment of approximately $40 million in the Belmont community. Funding for this new school was provided by the 2018 <coughs> school bonds. When voters went to the polls in May of 2018, they overwhelmingly approved a $250 million bond referendum. And to do so, our community said yes to having a modern school facility like this one. In addition to the work that has happened placed here today, the school bonds have already allowed us to invest additional $20 million in renovation and repair projects at the other schools across the county. And we are looking forward to more work being enhanced in our school facility in the near future. And I just want to echo what Dr. Booker mentioned a few minutes ago. I want to thank our Gaston County Board of Commissioners for their commitment for this bond has made a game changer for Gaston County Schools. So I want to thank Ronnie and, and Bob here today and, and Dr. Eagle. Thank you all for your leadership and in investing in your county and making education first. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Justin Davis, who serves as the South Point Township representative on the Board of Education to come forward to share a few words. Justin. Thank you, Mr. Ramsey, for giving me just a moment to talk about this great new school right here in the community where I am so proud to live and I'm proud to represent. A tremendous amount of work has gone into this project, as you can see and we are so proud of this result. It truly is an excellent neighborhood school where our young people will be educated with all the opportunities that a new facility can offer. This is an exceptional facility for the Belmont community, the South Point Township, and for all of Gaston County. First and foremost, this is a school for our students and our teachers, but it's also a place that this community can use and enjoy. It's something we can all be proud of. You can look right here at this new school facility and see that Gaston County Schools is making great progress. With the community's continued support, we'll keep moving forward to provide the best facilities and educational opportunities for our students and our teachers. And we are hopeful that as we move forward with the bond, that we will have many more grand opening celebrations and things to celebrate with improvement of our schools in the years to come. So thank you very much. And thank you, Mr. Ramsey. And thank you to the County Commission and everyone who's been a part of this project. 
it truly is a phenomenal thing that we've accomplished here. I was waiting on Mr. Booker to come and introduce me, and he just said, you're up. Uh, you're up. Um, it, it is my pleasure to be here, my privilege certainly to be here on behalf of the Gaston County Board of Commissioners and our chairman, Tom Keeger, and vice chairman, Alan Fraley. We are proud to stand here today inside this brand new middle school. And I was thinking about kind of some of the irony that here are two kids that grew up on the same street in Cramerton, Chairman Ramsey and myself, across the street from one another, that we're now in Belmont opening this school up. But, uh, but it's a great thing because this is where it's supposed to be. Belmont Middle School is supposed to be here in Belmont. So it took the commissioners and it took the, the school board, Belmont City Council, and many others coming together and to work through differences to make sure we had everyone on the same page and to be able to collaborate on a shared vision for the school and certainly the community's input as well. I want to acknowledge everyone's hard work and commitment to seeing the project through, but especially the community. This is your school, so you should give yourselves a hand for, people are thanking the commissioners for our investment, it's you who invested, so I applaud you. Thank you for investing in education. And I, I was really just also thinking what a bargain that this school is. That has a big price tag, but think about how many years and how many thousands of students will pass through these halls. And, and it is a tremendous bargain. As we just said, I was in Bel the old school a couple of weeks ago or about a week ago, and I thought about that. This may sound strange to some of the students here. Some of your grandkids may go to this school. You may be a student here, and think about that, because that's what has happened at the old school. We've had grandparents, my wife, my son went to the Belmont Middle School, now it's moving on, he'll have children that, that possibly come to this school. So uh, we have a state-of-the-art middle school right here in Belmont, right where our county is seeing the tremendous growth. And there is a significant amount of interest and energy in this region and this new school will be a draw for us. It'll be one of the reasons why families choose to live here and work here and invest their time and money and resources. It's a win for our county, it's a win for our school system. So we look forward to working with the Board of Education, Dr. Booker, on school bond projects in the future and doing all that we can to support schools and show this community around us that education is a top priority. And as Benjamin Franklin once said, an investment in education pays the best dividends. So thank you all for being here today. We extend our best wishes to you for a successful school year. Thank you. It is such a wonderful thing to have this school on this location because we, we struggled with that for a while. But uh, I want to thank our, my wife, for, for one thing, Dot Martin, Richard Turner and his wife Marie, Jim Heffern, Martha Stowe and Sam. They're on our council. I don't think there's any other council people here that I can think of but off the top of my head. Uh, but to have this school at this location is a wonderful thing because it's right close to the high school. They can go in and feed next door when they get out of school here. It's going to be a wonderful thing. And uh, I just want to thank you all so much for coming and recognizing the fact that we have a new school here. It's just a beautiful job that these people have done with this thing. Beautiful, beautiful job. Thank you very much. I am very excited. Uh, we're going to have some perspective given, and I'd like to introduce one of our rising eighth graders, uh, Brianna Armstrong. She's going to come up here and talk with everybody, and I'm so excited to have her here. So, yeah. she should. She does look beautiful in her Belmont green. <laughs> Hello, my name is Brianna Armstrong, and I am in the eighth grade here at Belmont Middle School. I'm excited to be representing all of the student body. There are so many things to be admired at our school, ranging from the natural light coming through all of the humongous windows. One of my personal favorites is the amazing library with brand new books, STEM collaboration labs, a first class art room, a gym that screams Wildcat, 
a BAM room that is absolutely gorgeous that cannot wait to be filled with students' cacophony. Not to forget the classrooms that are stupendous and so much more. What excites me more is that my sixth grade sister, Aaliyah, will get to spend her next three years enjoying the school. She will have a middle school experience of a lifetime. Although she may not encounter the slamming of lockers and the missing ceiling tiles and the bleachers with every item under the sun lying beneath it. Transitioning to this new school has been an experience I will never forget. I remember when we had the groundbreaking, and now here I am along with my classmates living this dream. We are proud of our school, and we cannot thank you enough for it. I really think only the teachers and the students truly appreciated the missing tiles and the slamming of the lockers. So I, I don't think we won't miss the ducking of the lockers either. So those of you that went to the old Belmont Middle, I'm sure you do probably appreciate that. So thank you, Brianna. Uh, next, we're going to hear from one of our wonderful parents that has a rising seventh grader, Miss Melissa Pacino. Thank you, Superintendent Booker, Mrs. Redman, Mrs. Jennings, and the members of our Belmont community. I'm excited to be standing in front of you today at the official grand opening of the new Belmont Middle School. On behalf of our PTO president, Rochelle Scarpalizos, our entire PTO board, and all the BMS families, we are excited to welcome students into Belmont Middle School in just one short week. My family and I have been part of the Belmont community for over 10 years and are proud to call Belmont our home. Our daughter Lucy will be a seventh grader this year, and we have twin sons who will be in the fourth grade at Belmont Central. My husband Tom and I are both children of educators and know the value and importance of wonderful teachers, a great school community, as well as the support of each of you. It's amazing to see all the hard work that has gone into creating this new school for our children. As a parent, you always want what is best for your child, and we are here today to celebrate the best middle school that students, parents, and teachers could have asked for. I am so thankful my children will experience it, and I look forward to seeing how my own child progresses this year in this wonderful new setting. I know with the outstanding teachers and staff, my child is in great hands. We really appreciate all that Gaston County Schools and Belmont Middle has done for us in this community. Thank you. And finally, I would like to introduce one of our fantastic teachers that's on our staff, Mrs. Melissa Pruitt. Uh, she has taught ELA. She's taught social studies. You'll see her at games on the fields. You might have seen her making that beautiful balloon arch today because you came in. But uh, she's, she's phenomenal for us. She does it all, and we really appreciate her. So uh, she'll be starting her 23rd year of teaching this year. So uh, with no further ado, Melissa Pruitt. Hi, my name is Melissa Pruitt, as she said, and I have been blessed to be a teacher here at Belmont Middle School for the past 13 years of my 23-year career. For 82 years, the old vintage building of BMS held the memories of many students who walked those beloved halls. I love teaching in that old building. You could feel the history envelop you as you sat in the auditorium for awards day or as you watched a game from the wooden gym bleachers. You could imagine years past as you walked across the squeaky hardwood floors in your classroom, and for 82 years, the windows of BMS watched this little meal town turn into a one-of-a-kind small town gym. It is why I'm so excited about this beautiful new building, why I'm so thrilled that I get to teach here, why I can't wait to welcome my students and see their faces when they get to experience this new place and all the wonderful things that it has to offer. Because we will be creating new memories, memories that will last a lifetime. And from my experience about this small town and its wonderful citizens, memories like our old BMS building that will be treasured forever. Thank you. Thank you all for sharing your perspectives. Make no doubt, today, Sunday, August 15th, the Gaston County Board of Education will officially present the Belmont Middle School to the community. 
It will be dedicated to the honor of those who came before, children, teachers, parents, but it will really be embracing those who will come in the future and all who will be associated with this school. And every one of you in here will have an association. At this time, I would like to ask David Bellamy of LS3P Associates, the architect, and Robert Brown from Beam Construction, our contractor, to come forward. Thank you, Dr. Booker. I uh, really appreciate the opportunity um, to, to participate and to help uh, play a small part in this school. Um, I was really blessed that I, too, uh, came from a school where my parents attended the same high school and middle school. So I kind of knew going in that that was going to be a special uh, uh, opportunity to really create this as more than just a school, but really uh, capture what is Belmont. So we kept asking throughout the design, what is Belmont? Uh, you see all the, the, the wildcat names, so, so Principal Redmond really played a, uh, an integral part in really capturing that energy, that vitality, to make it fun, make it exciting. I uh, mentioned in the media center, we wanted to make it a media center that really was engaging for middle school students and for the community. Uh, if you look at some of the artwork that's in there is of the Belmont community, and so we really wanted to capture that. So just thank you to the Board of Education, to Dr. Booker, to uh, Dr. Bouchard and to Principal Redmond for really uh, just providing the energy and the drive to really make this a special place. We're, we're excited to provide a small part of that. I'll hand this to so a few words. Thank you. I am Robert Brown with Beam Construction Company, and I had the privilege of being the project manager uh, to help assist putting this facility together. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Dr. Booker. The Board of Education for placing your trust and faith in Beam Construction and awarding us the contract to build this building. It was a privilege. As I tell many people, we don't get to pick the Legos out, we just get to put them together. <laughs> so we thank you and uh, to Dr. Booker. Uh, Ms. Redmond has no problem with communicating <laughs> with me in any manner if things are not exactly the way she wants it. So uh, we've had fun over the summer, and we've gotten here, and uh, it is, again, it is a privilege, and uh, we were just excited to be a part of this team from Gaston County School, from there, the ownership that was here meeting with us on a weekly basis to the design team, LS3P and their design partners, and to Gaston County's inspection department. Uh, with, without any of those, we wouldn't have been able to do this. So thank you all very much. Thank you to both of you. A lot of kidding goes on, which means it was a healthy project where we all work together to be here today. And we do appreciate the key to the building because you know we'd have used a rock to get in and they called you to fix it, right? Yeah. For those who were at the groundbreaking, you may remember that we had a blessing of the grounds then. And so I'd like to call forward Reverend George Ragsdale to commemorate today just to see commemorate that groundbreaking. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, you are the font of all wisdom and the source of all truth. We call today on your blessings so that we may come to know and follow in our lives all that is true and right. Today we give thanks for this new building and for all who have worked to make it possible. As we celebrate today, we ask your blessing upon it for the education and well-being of all present and future students of Belmont Middle School 
and for their growth in wisdom and knowledge. We ask your blessing on all those who will serve here as administrators, faculty, staff, and coaches of Belmont Middle, that they might lead with courage and strength, inspiring success as they offer their gifts for the good of others. We ask your blessings upon the parents of this school that they might continue to be generous supporters of teachers and staff through a shared commitment to lifelong learning and growth in us all. We pray your blessing upon all who are friends and supporters of Belmont Middle School. May we all work together to strengthen our community and the world in which we live. We pray for strength to meet the changes and challenges that the next 80 years will bring. All knowing God, show us the way and help us to trust in you completely, that we might offer kindness and compassion to all those we meet. God of love, you understand our every need before we ask. Show us your goodness in answer to these prayers so that they might benefit us all and the benefits of this magnificent new building might be reflected in lives of goodness and truth. Truly, send your goodness upon us and upon this place. Your blessing, we ask, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Raxdale. Uh, Todd, apologies. I'm going to go off script for just a moment because I see a number of folks in this room that we really need to thank. One of the things that we are very fortunate in Gaston County Schools is when we talk about school safety, there are a lot of folks to compare us to because we rank in the top of the state of North Carolina in school safety every year. So I see Chief Joe Ramey here to support us. Uh, he's got uh, his Melanie Smith with him. Sorry, I can't remember your captain. or what. You've been promoted assistant chief, right? But they do phenomenal work for us. I, I know Susan mentioned the Belmont police. I saw Chief Hawkins. I see Sheriff Klinger here. It doesn't happen without all their support. And I have all of their numbers and they have mine. And that's why we're safe. Because anytime something's going on in this community, they think about schools and they think about how to react to those. So if we could just recognize our law enforcement. <laughs> Susan, you want to recognize your SRO who yes. was out front before? I know I mentioned Officer Reagan earlier, but I'd like to, now that he's stepped into the room, I'd like to please give Officer Reagan a round of applause. He is our full-time SRO. Thank you. And folks, that's another example of where our county commission steps up and supports public schools. They fund us to have all the security that we need in our schools, and we appreciate it very much. But now it is time for the ribbon cutting. We will pause for just a moment to make sure we get that picture that we need. And then on the count of three, we will cut the ribbon to declare Belmont Middle School officially open. One, two, three, cut the ribbon. Before we conclude our program, we would like to ask Ms. Carrie Leinberger, the band director here at Belmont Middle, to come forward for the performance of our school alma mater. This alma mater was originally written for the 75th anniversary of Belmont Middle School in the old building, and so the words might sound, you know, like I'm speaking in the past, but I do plan on these walls being filled with just as many memories as the past Belmont Middle School was filled with. These walls are filled with memories, with wildcat pride we sing. Blue, green, and white we proudly wear, our spirits filled with glee. The years have passed 
and we have grown. Belmont is in our hearts. We treasure the days spent with you. Belmont Wildcats, hail to thee. Thank you. Well, this begins it. We get to officially say the new Belmont Middle School is open. And we hope that we will see inspiring success and a lifetime of learning for many years to come. Self-guided tours are now available. The building is open, as Ms. Redmond said. Some classrooms open on this side. Some of the encore classes are open on this side. Uh, as you tour, you feel free to pick up a bottle of water and a wildcat cookie made especially for today. We appreciate you all being here and have a great afternoon.